Now we're going to look specifically at arithmetic sequences in series. Arithmetic means we're dealing with addition. So in arithmetic sequence, the terms are related by addition. Here we have 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20. It's a repeated addition of 3. This means that the common difference for the example above is 3. We get, no matter what, we're adding 3 each time. This common difference is something important to pull out because there's actually an explicit formula for figuring out the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. What we see is a sub n is going to be the first term a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d or if you want to rearrange this a little bit, d times n minus 1. So that multiplication is where we represent the repeated addition. Here's some examples. Find the nth term formula for the following arithmetic sequences. We did look at a couple of examples of arithmetic sequences above, but now we are going to use the explicit formula. So for part A, we notice to get from one term to the next, we add 5. This means the common difference is 5, and our first term is negative 3. Plugging it, or solving with the explicit formula, we see a sub n is going to be negative 3 plus negative 5 times n minus 1. I can distribute. This gives me negative 5n plus 5, and simplify. So I get a sub n equals 2 minus 5n. And that's my final answer. If you wanted to, you could use a recursive formula. I could say that each term is determined by taking the previous term and adding 5 to it. This means that I have to give the first term, which is negative 3, and I have to say that this only works for term 2 and above. So for n is greater than or equal to 2. Both of these formulas will give you the same exact sequence. Let's look at b. Here, I see that I am constantly adding negative 8 each time, and that my first term is 9. This means that my formula a sub n is going to be my first term 9, plus negative 8 times n minus 1. I can distribute and then simplify, just like I did above. And I'm a little off. On above, this was supposed to be a positive 5. That was my mistake, which makes this a negative 5 over here, which should actually make this negative 8 plus 5n completely my fault. Okay, but going back down here, I now have 17 minus 8n, and that's my explicit formula. If I want to do recursive, I know my first term is 9, I know each term is determined by taking the previous term, a sub n minus 1, and subtracting 8 from it, and so this only works for terms 2 and above for n is greater than or equal to 2. And that would be recursive.